Imagine an age defying vitality, imagine discovering the secret to vibrant health that defies even the standards of youth. My current health surpasses that of a 20 year old. I believe that a large part of this is due to my new approach to eating, as I am able to see continuous improvements over time. Meet the renowned Dr. David Sinclair, a professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School. Look at this photo of Dr. Sinclair in 2013 and this one is a recent image of him. In the first image he was 44 years old, and second image he is 54 years old, you can see that he is now 54 years old and much younger than when he was 44 years old. Over the years, Dr. David Sinclair has transformed his diet and lifestyle based on science, and he categorically states that his body is rejuvenating. I checked my blood chemistry and am now younger and healthier than ever. My testosterone, glucose, inflammation, blood cell composition, and most other health indicators are doing better than those of a 20-year-old. In this video, we'll find out how Dr. Sinclair managed to reverse the signs of aging through his five-part scientific discovery. First, the most important eating habit for longevity. Second, the rules of exercise for longevity. Third, the foods he consumes for longevity. Fourth, the supplements he takes daily. Fifth, the foods he avoids for longevity. The most important eating habit to achieve longevity. According to Dr. David Sinclair, reducing meal frequency is the most important eating habit for achieving longevity. It's not just about what you eat, it's also about when you eat it. The common practice of having three main meals and snacks in between is speeding up our aging process. I opted to eat in a window of about six hours a day. Over time, I've learned to skip meals. Of course, it doesn't always succeed. Sometimes I enjoy a good breakfast. However, my goal is to avoid large meals until the evening when I consume a healthy vegan meal. What is the science behind the benefits of intermittent fasting? Limiting the eating period is associated with a phenomenon known as autophagy, which involves a deep recycling of proteins in the body. In this process, certain genes, called sirtuins, are activated when there is a low availability of energy in the body. This occurs when blood sugar or protein levels are low. Sirtuins play an important role in the body's defense against aging, and this process helps fight various diseases such as type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and cancer. In fact, studies have shown that intermittent fasting combined with chemotherapy can provide significant benefits in cancer treatment. Dr. David Sinclair shares a practical tip for anyone looking to try intermittent fasting, keep your body hydrated with fluids. Constant consumption of coffee, tea, and hot water throughout the day helps reduce feelings of hunger. In addition, consuming nuts can help suppress hunger quickly. The idea is to go at least 16 hours without eating or eating very little, reserving an 8-hour window for meals. This usually means having a late lunch if you opt for breakfast. Or alternatively, this allows the body an extended period of more than 20 hours without the entry of glucose from the outside world. Over time, the liver adapts to this routine and begins to produce glucose steadily, reducing the feeling of hunger. Persist in this eating pattern for a minimum of two weeks, because after this period, especially when you reach the third week, your liver will have adapted to the absence of breakfast or lunch and will start producing glucose in a stable way. This adaptation is of paramount importance, since we know that blood glucose spikes can result in feelings of hunger when it decreases after a large meal during the six-hour eating window. Dr. David Sinclair's advice on exercise is simple. Do physical activity three times a week to the point of being out of breath. You should be moving around to such an extent that having a conversation becomes difficult. This level of physical activity creates a state of hypoxia, i.e. low oxygen, which we believe positively stimulates the body. This results in the development of muscles, improved blood flow, and the release of chemicals that slow down the aging process. So, if you can be out of breath for about 10 minutes three times a week, you can enjoy significant health benefits and reduce the chances of developing diseases by up to 30%. What does Dr. David Sinclair consume? 
he switched primarily to a plant-based diet, which had a positive impact on his health, including improvements in skin and memory. He emphasizes that populations that live longer are usually made up of smaller people, who consume moderate amounts of food and follow a vegetarian diet. However, he does not ingest any plants, he focuses on what he calls stress plants. This relates to the theory of xenophony, which suggests that certain molecules, such as plant polyphenol that indicate stress, may confer benefits on another organism that consumes them, increasing its longevity and health. The expected results include a longer life expectancy and fitness, triggering the response to cellular stresses in the body. When we examine these plants, they all share something remarkable in common, they contain molecules that are beneficial to us. This cannot be a coincidence. These molecules activate and deactivate metabolic pathways or proteins in the body that are recognized to be essential for health and longevity. Now, how can we determine if a food has been subjected to stress during cultivation? A general rule of thumb is to start with pesticide-free organic cultivation in a natural environment, as in these cases the plants are more likely to have experienced stress. When your food experiences stress, you reap the benefits of that food tension, eliminating the need to artificially stress it. Therefore, our focus is on vibrant and colorful plants. Try incorporating bright red, deep purple, and dark green vegetables, as they are rich in polyphenol, all of which have the potential to activate the body's natural defenses. Perhaps you're wondering what some of the stresses of plants are that Dr. Sinclair consumes in the morning. Dr. David Sinclair includes green tea in his diet as it contains polyphenol with anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. In addition, he enjoys various types of green leafy vegetables, especially spinach, due to their iron and vitamin content. He also recommends using olive oil in cooking, as it contains oleic acid that activates sirtuins. The Mediterranean diet is highly valued due to its health benefits and ease of adherence for those who have difficulty adhering to a fully vegetarian diet. He suggests the Mediterranean diet or the Okinawan diet, which he himself practiced for decades before adopting an exclusively plant-based diet. Now let's go to the supplements he uses. There are three supplements that Dr. David Sinclair usually takes, but note that he does not recommend any and does not endorse any brands. These supplements include resveratrol, NM, a vitamin B3 derivative that increases NAD levels in the body, and metformin. Resveratrol and NM play essential roles in the activation of sirtuins, while metformin is associated with longevity and protection against cardiovascular disease, frailty, and diseases such as Alzheimer's. What Dr. David Sinclair eliminated from his diet for longevity? First, he chose to exclude sugar from his diet. Sugar, especially fructose, has been identified as a major villain in this context. When excessive amounts of glucose, particularly fructose, are fed to animals, it results in the development of fatty liver disease and diabetes, which is highly harmful. One of the most reliable indicators of long-term longevity is blood sugar level. High blood sugar levels lead to protein glycation in the body, leading to significant cell damage. In addition, it is important to note that cancer cells have a particular affinity for sugar since they feed on it. Therefore, reducing sugar intake is critical for maintaining long-term health. Dr. David Sinclair also recommends reducing the consumption of fruits, especially fruit juices, due to the high sugar content present in them. Excess sugar in the blood is not beneficial in the long run. Sugar can be consumed at the end of meals, although moderation is key, this does not require extreme measures. For example, he still allows himself small portions of ice cream occasionally, but avoids overdoing it, such as devouring a bowl of ice cream every night. Bread was one of the food items that Dr. Sinclair decided to eliminate from his diet. His first significant change was the reduction of carbohydrates, since he used to consume bread daily, often accompanied by different ingredients. This was an essential part of their diet. However, as he cut bread out of his diet, he noticed immediate improvements in his biochemical indicators. Especially in blood glucose levels. He realized that by consuming a piece of toast for breakfast, it left him tired and lacking mental clarity by dinner time. 
These fluctuations in energy levels resulted in tremors, tiredness, and difficulty concentrating. Dr. David Sinclair acknowledges that he wishes he had made this change to his diet since his 20s, as he has never felt as good as he does now due to this choice. Another important change he made was the reduction of meat consumption, which resulted in further improvements in his health indicators, including a reduction in cholesterol and triglyceride levels. It's worth mentioning that he has a family history of heart disease and his decision was not just limited to protein but also the fat present in meat. The doctor points out that he is not totally against the consumption of meat, but believes that we should direct our attention to foods of plant origin whenever possible. The third change in his diet was the elimination of milk. This change was made in order to observe what the results would be. Dr. Sinclair is not allergic to dairy and does not suffer from lactose intolerance, but he nevertheless noticed further improvements in his health with this modification. He believes that it wasn't okay in the past was due to the fact that he was consuming large amounts of protein, not just fat, but eggs and all that stuff. And now that I have less protein in the body, I think this m our pathway is really important for longevity. Dr. David Sinclair reveals that if we follow a healthy lifestyle, we can slow down the aging process and increase our longevity and still have an excellent quality of life. If this video was useful to you, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next content. Click now on the video that is popping up on the screen to continue watching more amazing content from our channel.